Right, hello everyone, my name is Dr. Musa Sahari, I'm a senior research scientist in medicinal chemistry, uh, working at Centre de Recherche Scientifique et Technique en Analyse Physical Chimique uh, in Algeria. Uh, well, I've been doing medicinal chemistry uh, as a career over the past 10 years or so of my life, um, so um, uh, that's why I'm kind of like uh, interested in studying the uh, sort of... Um, uh, currently existing uh, outbreak uh, of COVID-19. So, um, uh, about 10 days ago, the, um, uh, a Chinese group um, uh, published the uh, extra crystal structure of the, um, uh, of the uh, spike protein uh, of the uh, virus SARS-CoV-2, uh, tightly bound to the um, ACE2 or Homo sapien uh, ACE2 protein, uh, which are usually uh, found on the uh, surface of human cells. Um, now, this is the, um, uh, this is the uh, part of the spike protein, and this is part of the, um, of the ACE2 protein, and this is the region of interaction between the two sides, between the spike protein and the ACE2 protein. I mean, like, one of the uh, initial works that we have done is that we have separated this uh, spike protein, and we kind of, like, performed uh, molecular docking studies um, of hydroxychloroquine in this case. And this is the molecule that we're kind of, like, concentrating on at the moment, is that we want to study how hydroxychloroquine um, actually prevents the interaction between the ACE2 protein, i.e. this side, and the uh, uh, spike protein of the virus, which is uh, this side here. So... Uh, by doing so, that will actually give us an insight about um, um, how we can actually prevent the virus from attaching to the uh, surface uh, of um, human cells and those uh, um, uh, um, the eradicating the uh, virus altogether or, uh, or uh, treating patients from, um, um, from uh, SARS-CoV-2 um, in this case. So... Um, of course, scientifically speaking, um, the way how you know uh, proteins uh, are attached together, they usually um, you know, or they interact with each other. They usually use a certain type of bondings, and uh, one of the uh, interesting parts uh, of bondings here is the uh, hydrogen bondings. Of course, I mean, like these are some hydrogen bondings which exist, which already exist between the uh, uh, two sides of the ACE2 protein and the spike protein. And um, we are kind of like, or we will be focusing on this region alone. Of course, our other hydrogen bondings all all over the place, uh, to be honest, to hold the uh, secondary structure of the uh, of both proteins and also in other regions of the binding uh, site, of course. But we're trying to focus on this region here because when we actually initially did the um, the uh, interaction or the uh, molecular docking studies between the hydroxychloroquine and the um, surface of the uh, S protein on this side, of course, we kind of like uh, got some uh, pretty good results with um, with hydroxychloroquine uh, specifically attaching to this region here. Um, now uh, the scoring that we got from um, Autodoc Vina, which was the uh, software that did the uh, molecular docking, is about minus five point five. Uh, now this is slightly lower than the best scoring that uh, other scientists did with uh, regards to virtual screening, uh, which they have got something like in the region of minus seven point four of the best molecule. I mean, like not talking about HCQ molecule or hydro or hydroxychloroquine in this case, but other molecules uh, from uh, big libraries which are kind of like screened. Um, to attach or screen to interact with uh, the surface of the uh, spike protein of the virus. Um, now, of course, uh, there are uh, quite a few hydrogen bondings between the 
in this in this region between the uh, ACE2 protein and the spike protein. And um, what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to integrate our previous docking results uh, that we had from the uh, um, uh, that we had from hydroxychloroquine. Um, or that we had um, before generated from uh, the interaction of hydroxy uh, hydroxychloroquine and the uh, the spike protein, and we're trying to integrate them uh, in this um, um, in this uh, uh, area. So if we go here and then structure editing. Uh, sorry, I'm in, wrong, uh, I'm in the wrong place here. So, uh, view docking, docking results. So, yes, so the scoring, as I said earlier, was uh, minus 5.5, and we kind of like see how our molecule, in this case hydroxychloroquine, sits in between the two. Um, proteins, which is the ACE2 protein, or part of the ACE2 protein, and part of the um, uh, S protein. So, when we look at the type of hydrogen bonding between the hydroxychloroquine and the uh, surface of the spike protein, there isn't so many, to be honest. So, there is there is about one. Which is uh, which we're trying to uh, figure out here. So, if you yeah. So um, this is this is the type of hydrogen bonding currently existing between the hydroxychloroquine and the uh, spike protein, and. Um, so literally, it's between the asparagine 501 and the hydroxyl group of the hydroxychloroquine. Uh, so this is the type of hydrogen bonding that is currently going on. But what's uh, the thing that is quite interesting here is that we're not only interested in the hydrogen bondings, but we're also interested in the kind of like clash that. A hydroxychloroquine kind of like generates to prevent the um, um, to prevent the uh, 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 the S protein virus from attaching to the uh, uh, to the uh, ACE2 protein, and if we kind of like just select this area here, and we go to sorry my computer is just a bit slow so this area is now se selected and then we go to tools and then surface binding and then we find clashes and then designate and then ok Yes, so we kind of like find clashes in this area, so there are, there are ones shown in yellow here, and some clashes in this area too. So let me just get rid of the selection first, to make things slightly better. So, what we kind of like observe here is that the lysine side chain i.e. the lysine 353 of the ACE2 protein is kind of like prevented from interacting with the um, with the um, spike protein and thus kind of like um, uh, preventing the interaction from occurring. Also is that the aromatic ring on the <coughs> quinoline 
um, side is forming some sort of clash with the um, with the uh, histidine 34 in this case uh, of course uh, sitting the histidine is part of the ACE2 protein so it's that kind of like clash which actually prevents the um, AC2 protein or the uh, uh, spike protein from interacting with the AC2 protein. It's that kind of like clash. I mean, like as you see here, and there is also clash between the tyrosine 41 in the AC2 protein and the hydroxyl group of the hydroxychloroquine and that's also involved in I mean like the tyrosine 41 was also uh, in, in a normal case of course or in a normal scenario in the absence of, hydroxy uh, of hydroxychloroquine also forms hydrogen bonding with the uh, uh, with threonine 500 uh, uh, of course, three million five hundred of the uh, um, S protein or the spike protein. So um, these results are quite interesting in the fact that when you look at the non-aromatic side chain of hydroxychloroquine that is doing the kind of like clashing and prevention of um, interaction between the um, a spike protein of the virus and the uh, uh, ACE2 protein but also the hydroxy uh, or the, or the uh, quinoline uh, aromatic ring now of course is doing kind of like work as well by um, <coughs> kind of like uh, 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 promoting clashes with uh, histidine 34 of ACE2 protein so um, we hope that this kind of like um, short explanation would benefit the scientific community in terms of like studying other molecules as well that can have the potential of, um, um, of uh, improving those kind of like uh, interaction between uh, uh, newly explored molecules and the uh, S protein and thus uh, um, uh, preventing uh, the um, uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 protein or SARS-CoV-2 uh, virus from interacting with the cell uh, with the surface of uh, human cells. Well, um, uh, please do get in contact with me if you uh, uh, want more information with relation to those kind of like uh, 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 explanations. Um, and um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, well, take care of yourselves, guys. Goodbye.